On? On. On. Welcome. <sighs> yeah, let's open this. Let's open this fucking pill. Oh. Think that foam is going to go over the top? No, it's not. It's Well, there's mostly foam in that can, so probably. Yeah, it was all foam. Um, Prismatic Vista. Prismatic Vista. So, if you listen to the show, the, the podcast, CCO Podcast, thanks for being here on the CCO Podcast official YouTube channel. Hold on, i got to tuck my hair back. <laughs> i got to get a haircut. Yeah, we're nowhere today uh, talking about... Off the airs, in between videos, maybe we'd record it. You guys, get in the comments below on this discussion. Uh, if you want to get yourself entered into win a, win a Kess deck. Also, mm -hmm. we appreciate the comments. Also, the shitting on the face with the like button will get you in there too. Shitting directly on the face, not yeah. even the chest? Only on the face. It doesn't count if they get some in, if the like button gets some in its eyes. Is that a thing that people are into? Like getting shit on? I don't want to. It's not a thing. I don't want to comment on how I know it's a thing, but it's a thing. This is a longer than normal pause for me because I'm a little bit interested, but I'm just so not interested. Yeah, I, I know everybody after they say something. If you were say a super attractive girl, maybe I'd be a little bit interested. Well, because well, you hear that after somebody says that, they say, "Well, it's not me," but it, it's not me. But I actually did know a human. I won't out them on the internet, obviously, but I actually do know somebody that's into that i getting, don't getting did, i'm not into it but it's a thing it is real and it's out there don't google it but hey you're into it there is into so some shit, much go, bacteria go po more power to you if that's your thing if that's your thing you do you just be safe <clears throat> mm -hmm. anyway like prismatic wear, vistas wear we're goggles about. i don't know do you wear goggles i feel like that takes away some of the experience Prismatic Vista. Prismatic Vista is what we're talking about. Now, if you watched our Modern Horizons set review. Modern Horizons set review part two. We talked about Prismatic Vista. That's the... Can we call it PV? PV. Let's call well, it PV. Let's put one up here so we don't have to explain all of what it does. So there it is. It just ex ex explain what it does. It, It's a fetch land that fetches for any basic. Just basics. Though. Just basics. Untapped for one left, just like a fetch land, but only for basics. Fetch land for just basics. It, yeah. They're great. I yeah. think they're cool. I think it's a great card, but just with the mana that it was released and with the set that it was in and the price point that the set was at. And the price point that the card is yeah, at I, as a result. I don't think it had the... Because of the rarity. Correct. I don't think it had the desired effect that... It was supposed to be the card that went into modern that made it so you don't have to pay four hundred dollars for fetch lands if you want to play a deck. Does it see play in modern? I don't actually know enough about modern to know if it sees play in modern. I know that some people are talking about playing Prismatic Vista in Legacy because fetching a basic against like a wasteland deck, like a a fair wasteland deck, or whatever you want to call or, or it, or an unfair wasteland deck. Whatever, <clears throat> whatever. You, you fetching a basic against a wasteland deck is like super good. To fetch a basic swamp or a basic island that you can always cast your thought seizure, your brainstorm off of without fear of being wastelanded. That's like so good. Prismatic Vista acts as a means to get a island or a swamp without having to run a fetch land that gets you just a basic island or just a basic swamp right because yeah. you can run polluted delta and that'll get you an island or a swamp or an underground sea that's your best case scenario right and then if you want more than just four fetch lands that get you black yeah you got to run like verdant catacombs or scalding tarns or um money or a bloodstained mire right yeah but stain Meyer. Um, like, is is there is there a reason that we would run Prismatic Vista to get just a basic over well, these? Like, I don't I don't know if there is in that in, context. In modern, I don't know if it's if well, it's a thing. But you, like, you know, hold on, hold on. This is this is what sparked the conversation. Yeah, it so, feeds into what we want to say. If it's only played in Legacy, this is what sparks the conversation. I have a Cedh Animar deck. Mm -hmm. It's blue, green, red. Mm-hmm. And I play all the duels, all the shocks, all the fetch lands. Mm -hmm. 
every fetch land that can get me a blue, a green, or a red is in the deck. So that's 10 fetch lands. And... <clears throat> well, no, it's not 10, but it's fucking lots. I play, just because it gets me a red, it's I nine. play a Bloodstained Mire. Sure. Bloodstained Mire, tap, sack, pay one life, it gets you a red or a black. Like, gets you a swamp or a mountain. It's probably right here. Yeah, okay, it's right there. Yeah. Um... And I do this because I play a Taiga and a Stomping Ground, and I play a Steam Vents and a Volcanic Island. Yeah. Cool. Excellent. Right? Bloodstained Mire doesn't get me a basic island if I need a basic island to untap with Earthcraft. Earthcraft is an enchantment. You can tap a creature you control to untap target basic land. Let you go infinite with a Shrieking Drake. Yeah, because you need more ways to go infinite in Animar. That's well, say la vie. That's beside the point. Well, here's the thing. Prismatic Vista potentially gives you those options. Yeah. Okay, so if I cut a if I cut a Bloodstained Mire, it gives me a slot to play Prismatic Vista, which lets me fetch for a forest or a mountain or an island if I want to go infinite with Shrieking Drake, right? Yeah. But if I play a Prismatic Vista, it doesn't let me get... Uh, a taiga or a, a, a taiga or, or or a tropical island when i need one color like a like a blue i need a blue to cast my peregrine drake to untap everything yeah and then i need another color off the same land to cast something else right because you cast a peregrine drake when you have let's say 3 mana instead of 5 right so bloodstained mire gives me um gives me a volcanic island or an island or a mountain right right but uh sorry it doesn't give me an island but prismatic vista gives me an island so it's like which one do i play which one gives me that slight edge or do i cut the bloodstained mire and the other single color fetch land like uh flooded strand which gives me a blue or a white right so it gives you a blue yeah. Or a blue and a green or a blue <clears throat> and a red. A red if I fetch for a dual land. Do I cut the two off-color fetch lands, the three off-color fetch lands, but two of them, and do I play like um, Prismatic Vista and the five-color land tap deal three damage to you? Um, something Citadel. S tarnished Citadel. Tarnished Citadel. Some red shit. Yeah, Tarnished Citadel where it deals three damage to you to give you any color. You can't fetch that anyway. You can't fetch it anyway, but if you draw it, it gives yeah. you any color you need, right? Yeah. Or do I play a reflecting pool and just hope that my opponents are playing blue, green, and red? No, you don't play those because right? then you eat shit to Blood Moon. That's well, why you eat shit you to don't Blood. Play th those. This is the mana base that eats shit to Blood Moon. That hopefully I can kill you before you can even land your Blood Moon, mm, right? Like yeah. this is a combo deck we're talking about. I'm trying to race other decks and don't care about. Your control pieces. Yeah, you ain't beating no turn two Blood Moon anyway. Uh, you can't beat a turn two Blood Moon, no. But you can beat a turn three Blood Moon. Yeah. Right. If you go first. Um, honestly, I don't think in a commander meta, mm -hmm. Prismatic... Even, even, pr even in a competitive one? Even in a competitive one. I'm okay. not sure Prismatic Vista is <clears throat> the shit. I think it's playable. But... So many other things are so pinpointed, and they give you options. You've been over the options, right? Yeah. Like you and, and and I am I'm playing what there, could be considered the best option already. Yeah, there I'm isn't corner a, casing the next option. Yeah, there isn't a really dedicated wasteland deck in EDH, and if there was, you play strip mine. Because it'll get you, it'll, it'll get your island your that you fetch for anyways, right? Yeah, it'll you fuck go, your land. Anyway. You want to go infinite? Yeah, yeah. How about I just get your island? Exactly. Yeah. Like if you're gonna do yeah. some kind of infinite mana denial thing based on your land, you're gonna use strip mine anyway, so it doesn't matter which one you play. You're gonna play blood moon and strip mine, and that's what you're gonna do. Yeah, that's a thing. So I would. Suggest I'm just I'm just <laughs> thinking about uh, un uninhibited, uninteracted with. That's how I have to play that deck. I have to assume that you don't have it. Because if you have it, I lose. If you don't have it, I just win. Yeah. Right? And, and it's, mean, it's so polarized yeah. that it, like, I, I don't care about the... In a situation like that, that, you cut a basic, to be honest. 
no, I, I have to play more basics. That's like well, that's, like, that's the point of the conversation. It, if is, you're going to play more basics with Prismatic Vista, if to you're give gonna, myself more options. If you want to win on turn three, you cut a basic for Prismatic Vista because if you draw it off of whatever you're going to use to draw cards, you get the color you need and then you win. It's tough to say because I play two forests, two islands, and a mountain, right? Jesus. Like, that's two forests, two islands, and a mountain, and, like, uh, seven fetch lands and six dual lands. Cut the mountain. And then a couple five-color lands, and that's all of the mana in the deck. Yeah, <laughs> cut the mountain. Pretty, pretty and, a, and a dryad arbor in case I cascade into a green sun zenith. <laughs> <laughs> I think I cut the last cascade card out of there, though, so I might have to just cut the... Uh, they cut the dryad arbor for cut, the... I gotta cut the dryad arbor for the prismatic vista! We did it! The moral of the story is Prismatic Vista should have been printed in the fucking Commander products and not Modern Horizons because then it would cost like four bucks and not 15. Or 30. Yeah. So you can play in Legacy, dude. Everybody wants this card. Right. And I told you everybody was going to want it back in part two of the set review and all of you kind of agreed with me, which was cool. I I think we all agreed with each other. (laughs) Yeah, everybody (laughs) just agreed that that was a thing. But the fact is, this should have been a card that was super easily accessible and super, like, something that you could just find. And you don't fucking need it in Modern. You just don't. Yeah, I... Modern Horizons wasn't aimed at dropping the price of fucking playing Modern. So just print the shit that's gonna blow up command blow up in commander or blow up in legacy somewhere where people can just get them make legacy more affordable that is that's a that's a good that's, that's a good take home right yeah make legacy more affordable um give people the give people some tools for modern if they want to play an affordable a more affordable fetch land even if prismatic vista is 15 bucks yeah that sure is not 80 hell yeah it's not a scalding tarn no it's not right okay so that's cool that's not a misty that's, yeah. that's awesome. Any of the fetch lands with goddamn blue in them are a lot of money. Yeah. So I like that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, put it put it in the commander set instead of like every single commander product thus far we got command tower, right? Everyone. Yeah. Just get rid of it. No command tower this time. No, no, no. Give us command tower. Oh. But don't give us Opal Palace. Don't give us um, Path of Ancestry. Yeah, it could be the new like... I guess it wouldn't be shitty. If they were planning on putting in um, uh, Mana Confluence or City of Brass, no, cut it. Prismatic yeah. Vista. Yeah. And I think may- that's fine, right? Maybe we'll be wrong, and they're going to print it in the Commander products for 2019, and everybody's going to get pissed off. Everybody who bought a set of them is going to be mad. Maybe, but probably not. I, I don't know. They won't print it in Commander. They won't. Not this year, anyway. But they should have. And that's on them. And you should all be pissed off about it. Because I am. And I'm never pissed off. I like everything Wizards does. <clears throat> what? What are you trying to say? What? I think everything they do is right all the time. 